Not only does it include recommended affirmations to get you started on this powerful daily habit, it introduces you to a set of 52 powerful principles that the world's top achievers have used for decades to excel in business, the arts, sports, philanthropy, politics, and more. These are principles that I have studied, taught, and applied to my own life for nearly 40 years, and that Ram Ganglani has used for three decades to achieve success in business, philanthropy, and private life. We've also seen these principles work in hundreds of thousands of lives besides our own. Using the framework of these proven principles, Success Affirmations is therefore not just a book of good ideas and positive thoughts, it's proven steps for creating success and happiness. These principles always work if you always work the principles. In fact, if you master just one principle a week, as this book will guide you to do, you could literally transform your life in just one year. But the key is that you must take responsibility for implementing these principles in your life. Creating a daily habit of reciting and internalizing your affirmations is just one of these principles. But make no mistake, you alone have to do the work of implementing these principles in your life. You can't delegate them or skip over the ones you don't like. In fact, each one is integral to achieving overall success. It's just like writing a book. Before you can even start the process, you have to learn to read and write. You have to learn structure and syntax. You have to learn to put words into a sentence and sentences into paragraphs and paragraphs into chapters. If you leave a step out, the book will make no sense and readers will not benefit from it. Imagine a book with no periods or commas, no paragraphs or chapters. It just doesn't work. In the same way, each principle and its accompanying affirmations are key components to creating a successful and happy life. Your life. No one else can create your goals, build your dreams, and determine your future. Motivational philosopher Jim Rohn put it this way, You can't hire someone else to do your push-ups for you. Whether you're exercising, setting goals, meditating, studying, or even sleeping, some things you just have to do for yourself to get any benefit from them. And like the principles I teach in this book and the affirmations you will use to instill those principles and their benefits in your consciousness, if you'll simply make a commitment to applying them week after week and stick with it, you'll reap extraordinary rewards. Forty years of living these principles and affirmations prove that they work. Albert Einstein once said, The world as we have created it is a process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. Affirmations are the tool that day by day will slowly change your thinking. Make even greater effort by implementing these principles in your life, and things will begin to happen that you never thought possible. It happened for me, and this is Jack talking. Growing up in Wheeling, West Virginia, I lived in an average home. My dad was a workaholic and my mom an alcoholic. I earned cash during summers working in my grandfather's florist business and as a lifeguard at the local pool. I made it through Harvard University on a partial scholarship, serving breakfast at the campus dining commons to pay for books, clothes, and dates. During my last year of graduate school, I got a part-time teaching job that paid $120 every two weeks. That had to cover my rent and other expenses. To say that I was often broke would be an understatement. When money was tight, I survived on what I called my 21-cent dinners, a can of tomato paste, garlic salt, water, and a box of spaghetti noodles. I was living on a very low rung of the economic ladder. How I made it to graduation is anybody's guess. But sometime later, after I had started my career as a high school teacher on the south side of Chicago, I was offered a job at a unique foundation where I would be teaching others the principles espoused by its summary. 